Hi hearties, welcome back to the channel Kranil's Life and in today's video we are going to share about our morning routine again with you all and I thought of giving a voiceover in English in today's videos. Hope you all like it and without wasting our time, let's get into the video. The first thing after refreshing myself, I will do check with my plants and watering it that makes me smile and also my plants. And after that, I'm going to clear out all the mess that we created last night in the sofa area and also a dining area. I think clearing out the mess and sorting out the things early in the morning will make us feel fresh and also clear our mind throughout the day. And once it's done, I will start cooking for breakfast and also for lunch. Most of the time after marriage I started cooking the rice in the classical method of boiling water. For breakfast I am going to boil some maravalli kalangu in Tamil and also called tapioca in English. This is full of nutrients like iron and calcium. I am going to boil about 12 to 13 vessels. So today for lunch I am going to make some carrot beans poriyal. I used to cut beans like this way taking some 3 to 5 beans together and cutting all together will make our time less. So this is the iron kadai I purchased in, in this valley that I have shared in my dinner date vlog I think so. And most important thing, the iron kadai should be properly used and properly maintained. So you have to season once it's done every time. And last time once I cooked, I poured some water and kept aside for 5 hours. Then that made the kadai little rusty. So in the middle of cooking, my husband came to rescue my stomach. I got up at 6.30 in the morning and was uh, doing my work with only one glass of water. And he started yelling at me as usual. Once it's cooked completely, the outer layer has to be uh, removed easily. That's the method of cooking tapioca. And I cut down and kept in the table. This is the Kongunadu special moong dal gravy. Must try actually. So this is also a taduka pan, actually iron pan. It came with that combo as free. So I have added some oil, some jeera and a little coriander and some onions to fry and also add some uh, garlic cloves and some green chilies and sort very well and once it's done completely you have to add with the moong dal in cooker add some water and moong dal and this mixture and also one tomato and turmeric a pinch and uh, some salt and you have to mix it well and close the lid and for breakfast we are going to make sprouted dosa for that i have taken uh, uh, mixed sprouts uh, that is homemade. So I am taking some required amount of uh, mixed sprouts. So this is the first time I am trying this out. But it came out really well. For those are better, add piece of ginger, three green chilies, some jeera, and some curry leaves, uh, and with salt. And along with some water, we have to grind it nicely. And this is the texture we need. Uh, this is enough actually. And once we get this consistency, the mixture of this batter has to be added in the normal batter, dosa batter. This is uh, done with rice, uradol and fenugreek. So without adding a dosa batter into this mixture, we cannot achieve uh, the crispiness in the dosa. And adding some turmeric and mixing together. And once it's done, keep aside for 15 minutes. Here I am using a wrapping paper sheet to protect the watermelons. In this summer, it helps to retain its freshness. 
and our moong dal got ready 90% and we have to smash it like this with any of your smasher and it's done superb As I already mentioned, the iron pans and kadai should be uh, properly maintained. We have to clean it and we have to wipe it all the way together after cooking. And after that, we have to uh, season with any oil. Uh, the oil should be all over the place inside. So I use here a tissue paper to spread the oil. Make sure you have some time to season the iron kadais after cooking. And let's make dosa now and the only reason I switched into iron kadai and iron cookware is dosa. Myself and my husband used to love dosa that is cooked in iron pan. But then I ended up with three more cookwares offered by Indus Valley Cooker. And for breakfast he ended up with uh, some tapiocos and some melons. And I am not in a diet, I am choosing only right food that's it. And I'm going to enjoy my dosas with some moong dal gravy. Me and my mom uh, bought this uh, cutlery holder or pin holder in a roadshed shop from Coimbatore. This is very cute and also matched up with my dining area setup. And this looks very cute and colorful and also very affordable and I love to buy it so I bought it. As if now I kept a cutlery holder in dining area so it can be used for multiple purposes as well. So recently I made a habit of clearing out all the vessels after we done breakfast. Uh, before that we are, uh, I used to keep all the vessels and dump together all over and me and my husband will together do it in the night time. But nowadays I am finishing out morning dishes and at night we both will take care of our dishes. Sometimes he will take care of that and this helps me a lot to concentrate on my YouTube work actually. And now I am getting my weekly vegetables done and sorting it out to access easily for a week. And for storing the green chilies, I will cut down the stem or pedicle from the green chilies. And I will take this uh, Ziploc bag. And this Ziploc storage will retain the uh, freshness of uh, green chilies for about 25 days in the fridge. As our kitchen is non-modular kitchen, we used to store all the coconut, ginger, garlics and onions under the countertop area. I know all the married women will have this uh, kind of works weekly once to keep our kitchen cleaned and organized. So after sorting out things in kitchen, I would like to have some juices or water sometimes. But today I would like to have some coffee. I think we can intake coffee at the time of 11 to 12 am and also for 4 to 5 pm I think so. So I got uh, this reference from one of a uh, doctor. Before marriage, some of you all know that I am into a business with mom. After marriage, I am uh, not able to continue with that. And after that, I am in a state of regression and some confusions. What to do and not what to do. From schooling itself, I have got much more interest in uh, singing and dancing and all. After that, I was in a dub smash musically and TikTok all together. And I was doing great that time actually. Believe it or not, I was having about 70k followers in TikTok and I am not able to regain my followers again from Instagram. So I thought of uh, getting frustrated in that and after that I uh, discussed with Chandru about starting a couple YouTube channel. And after marriage, it went off like 2-3 to three months went off uh, roaming here and there. And in the March 2022, we decided to start and the name of the channel we decided is The Moon and the river and i was waiting for taking video together for the first time and he is not available 
because of his work schedule and everything and then i decided to start alone a channel tranil's life and this is it going but i am able to give uh, uh, so many contents and so many informations through my video but i am not getting that much uh, response so please subscribe and support the first 1000 uh, subscriber are my hearty hearty subscribers and my lovelies and waiting for my day fingers crossed thanks for watching thanks for your precious time on my video bye bye